Greetings, Grapple fans. It's your director of fun, Mike Quackenbush, here on Free Match Monday with a treat for you. Our recent tour stop in Chicago, Illinois, saw Cyberhawks 2000 go two on two against the Hermit Crab and the Cajun Crawdad. And as these two teams are set to face one final time at our upcoming season finale event, Closing Time, I thought it would be apt to show you some of what has contributed to these teams' ongoing rivalry. That's Razorhawk in the gold trim. Silverhawk, as you might have pieced together, is the one in the silver. Together, Cyberhawks 2000. The fastest up-and-comers on the Chikara roster, known for their high-flying skills. They like to keep a frenetic pace. And our friend uh, Razorhawk recently returning uh, from a very serious injury in Kerbal. We were over in England, had a concussion, came back and just this past week suffered a very minor back injury in training. Unfortunately, word travels very quickly within the Chikara ranks when something like that happens. I'm afraid Razorhawk has almost certainly got a target on his back. There's no way that news hasn't reached Hermit Crab and Cajun Crawdad. Match in the tag team ranks. Points, of course, in play. You gotta get three wins. That is to say, three points accumulated by winning three matches in a row. If you want to challenge Los Campeones de Parejas, currently Los Ice Creams, as unbelievable as that sounds. And it certainly seems like whichever team is able to get those three points first, whichever team is able to challenge Los Ice Creams, they might be our next Campeones de Parejas. All four of these men would love to have those golden belts around their waist. Silverhawk responds with an open-handed shot. Climbs the tree in the turmoil. Going to get a side headlock takedown. Razorhawk springing right in action. He's got a side headlock. He climbs the tree as well. Cyberhawks 2000 are on the same page. Tandem offense. Para drop kicks. Looks like a hermit crab. No. The hermit crab just stepped out of the radius of those drop kicks. Grab and Razorhawk by the throw. Well, their pet move comes from here, low tide, but if they're able, they, they've got it! Oh, they nailed it! This could be it right here! They're not wasting any time. Yeah, Silverhawk's telling Razorhawk, get out of the ring. He landed very hard on his lower back. Nobody knows better than Silverhawk the extent of the injury that was done to his partner. Spine buster by the Hermit Crab, another cover here. Woo! They're getting out of the gate fast. Crab and Crawdad looking to smother the Hawks and steal a win if they can. Barely a minute deep into this contest and they are already in fourth gear. Lockport Joe wants them off the mask. You wonder our system of rules fans, if there was an illegal unmasking in the middle of this match, for example, let's say the Hermit Crab unlaced Silverhawk's mask and pulled it off, this match would end in a disqualification immediately. The Hermit Crab would be disqualified, and the match would be awarded to the Cyberhawks 2000. That, and a lot of our other rules, adapted from Lucha Libre. Hermit Crab continues to pour it on. Another near fall over Silverhawk, who turns toward his corner. There is no one thing. Taking him for the ride. Picture perfect suplex from the Hermit Crab. Doing a good job, always hooking the leg, putting weight on the shoulder blades. They're gonna try and wear Silverhawk out while Razorhawk has effectively become a non-factor in the match. Jumps right up. I thought he was gonna monkey flip, but he turned that into a sunset flip. What agility from Silverhawk who lands a textbook drop kick and once again goes looking for his partner. He's ready to tag. These guys are tag team specialists. But Razorhawk suffering the effects of low tide in the, I think the first minute of the match. And he may not return to the match. The combination of that devastating move and the back injury that Razorhawk suffered earlier in the week, he may be completely neutralized.
Oh, he's calling for the gator roll. Taking him for the ride, very disorienting move. Going from one side of the ring all the way to the other, does the cage and claw dad. He's gonna disorient Silverhawk, so he is easy prey. Keep your eye on the claw dad. He loves a suplex with a corkscrew. He nailed it, and he's got it. Clears out the ring, so his fresh partner, the Hermit Crab, can take over. A lot of tag team continuity on the part of these two today. Dives the crab walk elbow, once again hooks the leg. Looks to me like a fourth or fifth near fall the Hermit Crab's had over Silverhawk. This one boiling fast. Nothing pretty about that, just accelerated the head of Silverhawk down into the mat. Now putting a pinch on him. Hermit Crab loves to exploit the pressure points, especially those two on the base of the neck. We'll dig right into your trapezius region to find it. Raw Dad, got a full Nelson, breaking Silverhawk down. Has a clasp behind the head. Putting all that pressure down on the head and neck of Silverhawk, just trying to force the neck down further and further. You know, it doesn't take a whole lot of pressure on a full Nelson to make it very, very effective. If you've ever been in that hole, of course, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Trying to break free of the full Nelson. He goes out the back door, but there is no Razorhawk. Silverhawk all by himself. Effectively wrestling a handicap match at this juncture. Had a hook of both legs following the Michinoku driver. You may know, uh, wrestling trivia, originally that was known as Michinoku Driver 2. Uh, but Utaka Michinoku was signed by the World Wrestling Federation in the 90s to simplify it simply the Michinoku Driver. The move that was first called the Michinoku Driver is just a brain buster. There you go, in case you're ever on Jeopardy and Michinoku Pro is one of the categories. Trying from the interlock front chancery to lift Silverhawk up. The Cajun Crawdad having a tough time. Woo! What a terrific Enzigiri, the sound of the contact, boot on skull. Crab tried to put the pinch on Silverhawk once again, and Silverhawk met him with a back elbow, and the upturned boot meets the mush of the Cajun Crawdad. Look at the Silverhawk taken to the air with a terrific high cross body. What hang time on that maneuver. Well, there's Razorhawk creeping back into view. Has finally peeled himself back up off the floor and is reaching out for the tag. Silverhawk dives. No. Hermit Crab took him out from his base and he fell back first onto the apron. Smacked his back on the hardest part of the ring. Huge Alabama slam on a crawdad who hooked the far leg for one, two, and no. He only got two, but a very close two. You may not like it, but give it up. The Crab and Crawdad's offensive game of attack has been working perfectly. They came to the ring with a plan, and they have executed it to perfection. Just taunting Silver out there. Could you hear them? They were yelling, stay down at him. I admire the heart of Silverhawk trying to take on two guys by himself, but geez. Oh, around. Oh, he got <laughs> He got two for the price of one with that satellite head scissor. I don't know how Silverhawk did that. He evades the impact from the Hermit Crab. Silverhawk on the apron to the top! Corkscrew came right out, turned it into a Santon, and crushed the Cajun Crawdad. And now Razorhawk is legal. I don't know if Hermit Crab realizes it, but yeah, Razorhawk is back in the match with a great missile drop kick. Forearm found the mark. Put another one right into the jaw, and boy, did he stagger the crab with that one. Handspring reversal in direction, back elbow. He took the Hermit Crab down. I gotta wonder though, yeah, you see him favoring his lower back. How's Razorhawk feeling right now? Kicked him right in the midsection, got him all hooked up. Looking for that Falcon Arrow. He got it. 
didn't have enough behind it. No, you can see the Hermit Crab got his hands up to push out of the pinning combination just in the nick of time. Crab and Claudette came into this match with one point, and if the Cyberhawks beat them, they'll go back to zero. They are desperately trying to hang on. Double team offense forthcoming from the Cyberhawks. 2,000 assisted splash. Silverhawk makes the cover. Agent Crawdad, though, is keeping his eye on the action, even from the floor. Made sure to interject himself at just the right time. All four men in the ring. Lockport Joe has basically lost control over this one. They have been going at it in high gear basically since the opening bell. How much can any of these competitors possibly have left in the tank? Agent Crawdad looking loopy, got hooked up. He's up, looking for the Razor's edge. He nailed it. Razor trying to get his wits about him. Cascades right up, ready. No, it was countered into a power bomb, and the Hermit Crab's gonna follow up immediately with a Boston Crab, a submission hold that puts all the pressure on the lower back. Silverhawk knows Razorhawk cannot last long in a hold as powerful as the Boston Crab. They're trying to free him using a series of kicks, and the Hermit Crab just won't give it up. The Hermit Crab is so tenacious. Well, all those open-handed blows and kicks finally got the crab to give up the hold. What a match we're having. Everybody trying their hardest here to get it done. Back and forth, back and forth. Looks like the Cyberhawks are getting the advantage here, but they've come tumbling right into trouble. They've got Silverhawk hooked for low tide. What elevation on that. This one's got to be all over. Oh no, Razorhawk at the last second flung himself into the pinning predicament to break it up. And if not, this one would be over. Razorhawk launching himself into a flying forearm on the Hermit Crab, but really favoring his lower back. He's taken so much punishment. Looking for the old Punch Him in the Mouth 2000. He was intercepted by the Cajun Crawdad. That's at least the second, if not the third time the Crawdad interjected himself at the precise right moment. He's been the real difference maker in this tag team contest tonight. Razorhawk's just in a bad, bad way. He fell victim to low tide very early on in the contest, fell on the apron of the ring. Whoa! Precarious positioning up there on the middle rope. Silverhawk has Hermit Crab hooked. Whoa, just about lost her balance and fell out of the ring. You know, I don't know how much a second rope can possibly bear. Oh boy. Well, they're not coming down. Razorhawk's going up. All four guys are on the second rope. I've never seen anything like this before, fans. Whoa! Huge tandem superplex by Cyberhawks 2000. The balance it takes to make that work. Unreal, just unreal. These guys are leaving it all on stage, all to try and be next to claim a point, to get one step closer to the Tag Team Championship, to the Campeonatos de Parejas, and Cyberhawks 2000, huge, no, the Cyber Splash did not connect. Hermit Crab took his eye off the prize. He caught him. Caught him out of mid-air. And they're springing. They're looking for it. Here comes Low Tide. Oh, all that impact on his back for one, for two, for three. Hermit Crab and Cajun Crawdad earned every bit of that win.